get on free press. Ain't no telling what you may see. Look like I see a flying fish there. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. This is the get on free press. Ain't no telling what you may see. Look like I see a flying fish there. <laughs> What's going on in the government? Nobody knows what's going on in the White House. The more they may change, the more things remain the same. Nobody knows what's going on. Nobody knows how many people don't have jobs. Nobody cares. How many people walking? Nobody gives a damn. If you're about to lose everything you got, nobody cares if you never own a thing. Nobody knows what I'm dreaming. Nobody knows what's on my mind. I'm George Foster Rhymes, and this is the American Ghetto Free Press. KY, which means Know Your Rights Campaign. KYRC, Know Your Rights Campaign. This is a new movement out of the Boston GBR YouTube channel. We want you to know your rights because it's not time for us to say good night, but it's time for us to know our rights and educate our children. I'm a few miles west of Hayhara, Georgia, at what used to call, be called the Folsom Bridge. This is a historic marker put together by Dr. and Professor Mark George at Valdosta State University. We put this marker up here a few years ago. First, we put up a cross. And when we put this cross up here, 105 vehicles motorcade from Hayhara to Folsom Bridge in honor of Mary Turner and the 15 to 25 other blacks that were murdered, murdered in Brooks County and nobody have been brought to justice. More recently, after 97 years, after they lynched this black woman, cut the baby from her abdomen and a white mob member crushed the head of that baby with the heel of his boot. This is history. I'm not creating this. And it is indeed time for us as right people in America to reflect on our history in the same manner as the sons and daughters of the Confederacy. We have fought in every great war of this nation. I have a 93-year-old woman that can tell you more about what happened in May of 1918. Come just a minute, my This is not her, but I've just been introduced to this 93-year-old black woman who should have a history to tell about the Mary Turner lynchings in that week of terror. When 15 to 25 blacks were murdered. What do you think when you come to see us, my beautiful sister? That gives me chills. It's, she said it gives her chills. It brought me to tears just watching it. I've nev never seen, I've heard of it, but it's my first time ever putting foot here. And you come here, let me tell you, you'll feel it. You you'll will feel it. feel it. 90 something years, it's passed, but you will feel as if it happened yesterday. And, and it's sad. Amen. And we can only feel how the family members of Mary Turner feel and felt. In that year, we had people come all the way from around the, the nation to this site, 105 vehicles. Yet, the top Georgia news media, as I've been saying to you all before, they didn't even cover that event. It was like as if though our news go unreported. And of course, as you also know, I'm in my 83rd day of being banned from Lyons County High School. And I have violated no law to my knowledge, nor have I been officially notified. 
outside of Sheriff Deputy Thomas that told me on May 26th that I had been under a criminal trespass warning for two weeks at that time. And so we're going to close this out. Any closing words you want to say, my beautiful sister, before we go? We should not forget where we came from. We are bearing the past. We should not bear the past. We should know where we came from. You got to know where you came from in order to know where you're going. So just remember that. Don't bury your past. Let your children know where their ancestors have been and what they've gone through. And they can learn to appreciate maybe better what's happening to them now. I'm finished with it for now. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And once again, I'm George Boston Ryan, and I'm doing this because somebody got to tell the story. Somebody had already shot it once. There are four other bullet holes, and we don't mind that, to tell you the truth. We really don't, because as long as stuff like this happens, we know that there needs to be a new mindset in the hearts and minds of God's children. We love you all, and we are going to continue to do what the founding fathers of our great republic have always done, and that is talk about freedom, justice and equality for all people, although they may, not, they, they may not have meant it for the black man and woman of America, but God have so ordained that it is what it is. And so I'm going to say to this community of South Georgia, as a community, as a state, as a nation and world, we are not who we claim to be, but who we prove ourselves to be over a given period of time. And so as long as we see people proving themselves by acting as their forebears did, then you get the message, very little has changed. And when truth comes into the minds of those that seek truth, then falsehood must vanish. And falsehood is forever a vanishing thing. We want to say to the Valdosta Daily Times and all television and radio stations who have failed to interview me, a retired military veteran, that I've been denied my constitutional rights of freedom of movement. Well, one day, this may happen to your children and you will go to the news media and you'll want them to tell your story and they'll simply tell you that you are of no importance and I'll be damned if we'll tell your story and then you'll become lost in the cosmos. But my story are getting out. I have over a quarter million views on YouTube, and I'm getting calls from people who's asking a question, what's going on in that southern town? And eventually, as Paul Harvey would say, you're going to get the rest of the story. Bye-bye. All children should know about this and other massacres that took place. But this one is so touching because of the fact that they lynched this woman and took her, took her baby out. You can't get any colder than that for no reason. She's a human being. She is still suffering after all of that. 90-something years ago, and people are still desecrating her. It's so sad. Amen. So sad. So, so sad. Once if again. You visit, you need to come visit this. It's yeah. something you need to see. Don't you think the schools might need to do tours out here? What do you think? I think it would be good if they brought them out here and let them see. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, thank you very much.
These are the bullet holes that someone desecrated the historic marker of a black African-American mother in her eighth month of pregnancy. White mob members murdered this black woman. Nothing was ever done about it. The governor of the state of Georgia was given the names of the people. We in the black community know the family members even until this day of those that had something to do with it. But yet because of the God we serve, we know that Galatians 6 and 7 will eventually fall upon those and therefore, we don't have to take action because God is what we trust in. God have always fought our battles and we still rise, as my Angelo said. In spite of it all, we still rise. We rise and we rise to higher heights to show the world that we of the darker continent of Africa still intend to hold true until the ancient Ethiopian Jews, the ancient Ethiopian Jews get their rightful place so they can unfold the mysteries of that which have been hidden for thousands of years. And God will say, and prove and approve all his word wherein he said heaven and earth would pass away but my truth will stand forever this is why truth is so important and this is why we cannot fall to the level of hate we should never hate others as they hate us because galatians 6 and 7 says God is not mocked, for whatsoever man sow, that shall he also reap, down to the third and fourth generations. And so when others look at their children and see why they are getting weaker and weaker, plagued with diseases, etc., etc., God said, all souls are mine. I have no respect of persons, and this is why we must be fair and just to all life sources, including the vegetation. Bye-bye. We go.
just slowly walk down the gangplank from the ship. And all I could do, Lord, all I could do is stand and cry. Black sisters not long ago, Angela Davis was her name. Oh yeah, I said the handcuffed her and it took off the jail. Oh yes, they did. But I wanna say I wasn't there, but I can. Uh, Hey!